So I built this super cheap and easy router table from some scrap pieces. Uh, it has these pins and I cut out a couple of dados on my table saw to accommodate the pins. Those pins feed through the router and hold it to the table. I routed out this profile here to match the router I found on an old Craftsman router found on Craigslist for 20 bucks and it just sits in that profile and the pins hold it tight to the table. I think those holes were meant for an attachment to the router but it works just to secure it to the table. On the face of the router table, I marked a couple of arrows to indicate the feed direction. Since I rarely use this with a fence, it's easy to forget which way to feed the wood, so that's been a great help. And then to start and stop the router, I picked up a pedal switch from Harbor Freight. So I can just start and stop it. Uh, with my foot, I don't have to reach underneath. So, to demonstrate the router table, I have this piece of railing from our stairwell. It's terrible to hold because the edges, the bottom, are jagged. They have not been rounded over, so I have a round over piece in the router table. And this feels much better in your hand when you're walking down the stairs trying to hold on to something. I picked up this set of router bits from Harbor Freight and it has done the trick for me. I've had it for a few years and they all work great. Also, I keep a couple of bits that I use frequently inside my uh, box for my router and I've cut a slit in the side to keep the wrench uh, that is very useful, so I don't lose that part. I'd recommend doing that. And that's all there is to this super simple router table. Thanks for watching.